<laughs> if you smell what we're reviewing, you became game Monday, Friday. <clears throat> what? Well, you said if you were smell what we're doing. Hmm. Dwayne Johnson, when he was the wrestler of The Rock, would say, if you smell what The Rock is cooking. Ah, okay. And when I said... But this isn't a Dwayne and, Johnson movie. And when I said yippee Kaye Monday, Friday, that's a reference to the 1988 film Die Hard. Got it. Anyway, people, this is our annual Die Hard ripoff review, where every year we review a Die Hard a Die Hard ripoff around this time, which mm -hmm. has included um, Cliffhanger with Stallone. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else? What's Oh, Speed. That was a good one. Um, Skyscraper with Anna Nicole Smith. Speed 2. And this movie. This, I think, was one of the better of them. I... I I think well, Speed 1. Speed is my favorite so far that yeah, I've seen. But I'd say this is like second place. I might put Speed 2 above this. Speed 2 didn't really make sense. A ship exploding? I, I believe that. Um, oh, sorry. I've seen... This is minor off-tangent. I've Minor precursor. I've seen the... Sh I saw the show... It didn't last very long. It was called First Impressions. And one of them one of them did an impression of Nicolas Cage. And he said, What in the name of Zeus's butthole is going on? I thought, <laughs> that's that does sound like something Nicolas Cage would say. He says it in this movie. But wait a minute. If I'm doing Nicolas Cage for this review. No. That means someone has to do Sean Connery. Nope. Yup. Neither. You have to do Ooh, Sean Connery. No. Come on! You have to! No, I don't. Yeah, people, and my impressions are bad. Okay, let's... I wasn't doing an impression. You should! Okay, let's get going. So, so anyway... <clears throat> what is it? Harris. What is it? It's one of the die hard in a prison scenarios except this one takes place on alcatraz mm -hmm. the rock. just go ahead tell them yeah it's called the rock that's it's that's one of its nicknames because Al alcatraz is like on a rock island yeah. it is on an island yeah so i went through it you talk about the plot and i'll do random impressions <laughs> Oh my god, okay. And I wanna so, And I wanna roam at the sweet so I can get a shave and a haircut. Yeah, take a shower. <clears throat> he gets a bathtub, I think. I don't know. So anyway, it starts out with Ed Harris. Um, Ed a, Harris. A decorated um army guy. Mm -hmm. Served in a lot of wars, did a lot of um ops and everything, and he saw how many people <laughs> died for our country and were not <coughs> recognized by the government that many families never received any benefits or payments or anything. Shinobi, you're probably never going to see this review, but um, I know you. I know you're a Michael Bay fan. So here's what I'm going to do. Oh yeah, it's I want to say. Michael Bay, isn't I want to say one Michael Bay joke, just one Michael Bay joke. I'll do, I'll two. I'll do two, but I'll put my when I I'll put my I'll put my finger up like this so that way you know when to mute this review. Mute it from the beginning. <clears throat> no, only when the finger only when my finger is up. See. Yeah. So you mute it. Of course, this movie. Of course, this movie has to deal with something with the military. It's a Michael Bay film. Okay, back to our plot. So anyway, Nicolas Cage is kind of like no, a... No, he, he's a, uh, what, a physio scientist? Oh, you're talking about Nicolas Cage, okay. 
You said Nicolas Cage is. I thought I thought you were talking about Ed Harris or he's what a I just said. Biochemist, scientist, yeah. PhD, whatever, is he's, supposed to be the best in the business. So he's the guy who decides like, do you cut the red wire or the blue wire? Or do you take out the detonator me mechanism and smash it so and nobody can ship who's the, guy, the bombs anywhere? Who was his partner at the beginning? Mm, just that one guy that wanted to get out of his job. Uh, let's say... Scientist X. No. <laughs> Lab um, Scientist X. I don't know. Where's the movie? You know what? Let's call him Sean. Let's say it's Sean Bean because Sean Bean always dies in movies. Unless it's Jupiter Ascending, which just died in the theaters. Where did you put the movie? Anyway, get back here, please. Yes, go ahead. I don't think it's listed. There's like 20 people in this movie, and it only names like seven actors. Well, because those were the ones who got the credit. Mm-hmm. And I put in the wrong disc <coughs> the first time. It was the second disc. Yeah. No, we didn't see the bonus features. I don't know if we'll ever... I don't know if we'll get this movie. It's not my... Probably not. It's not my favorite Die Hard ripoff. So anyway, Ed Harris. Ed a Harris. He's a decorated military Should I explain guy. that joke? Why I keep doing that? Whatever. Okay, I'll do. I'll just do it real quick. Um, in Erod, in Erod's Planes Fire and Rescue review, there was a character played by Ed Harris, and he kept doing like Ed Harris, Ed Harris, Ed Harris. Oh, man, I can never do it as good as Don LaFontaine. And then it showed a montage of, like, Don LaFontaine saying, Ed Harris. Okay, can we move on? Don, La Don so LaFontaine anyway, was like the, in a world where, in a world where ghosts and goblins exist. So anyway, he put together a group, but before you get to the group and what they're going to steal on the base, Chemical oh, Warfare. Oh, one of them was John C. McGinley. Chemical war Warfare. Mm -hmm. He goes to his wife's grave. He takes off his wedding band and places it next to his wife's wedding band on the dresser in their home. Nicholas Cage or Ed Harris? Ed Harris. Okay. And then he goes to the cemetery. He puts his purple heart there. And he says, again, Michael Bay military. He says, please forgive me for what I am going to do. And at this point, he, um, with a ragtag team of kind of mercenaries. Mm -hmm. Well, um, they were all army though, army seal, whatever. Yeah, navy, navy seals, and military, military people. Whoever, whoever wanted to sign up for the app. Whoever I just remembered another diehard ripoff I reviewed, Air Force One. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. That one was a good one. Yeah. So, so anyway, anyway. <laughs> they go on base. They go on base. Ed Harris and this other guy go on base. And they, they get on right away because they're officers. And they uh, kind of imprison, literally, um, a bunch, a ton of tourists in, like, these Well, cells. first they have to steal... The chemical war warfare. For the rockets. Yeah. So then they take it over to Alcatraz. And they kind of, yes, take over a tour. Mm -hmm. First, though, Ed Harris goes up to the little girls and he says, Why don't you tell your mommy that it's time to leave and then go to the bus? But I didn't understand that because the only way I got to Alcatraz was via a, a boat like a ferry boat. When was you when did you go? You could take a chop, chopper or whatever. But there's no connection. When did you go? Um, it was probably 79 or so, maybe? This was in the 90s. Okay, so maybe it's updated. I, this might have been... But I don't didn't see they how close you could Alca take... They probably closed Alcatraz. At, as a tourist place? Or as a actual prison. I oh, don't yeah, remember yeah. what year they closed. Oh, my closed. God. It was closed when I went there. Okay. I wasn't going to go through a prison with the live prisoners there. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. So anyway, <laughs> they get all of the ammunition. They set it up with rockets throughout the island. They called the president and say... No, they didn't call the president. He called his dear friend who was, uh, <coughs> who was in the Pentagon, in the, um, the president's what room? Not war room, but... Where all the chief of staffs are. I can't think of the name. Me neither. Anyway. The Oval Office? No. 
So Lord, anyway, Lord? that's a movie. So then, bunker? <laughs> no bunker is how many floors down. That's where the vice president goes when the president is in danger. So anyway, at what I've heard, maybe not. I'm probably wrong, but anyway, so. They give them what twenty four hours? I thought it was like four, no, it was it was like thirty six or forty eight hours because Nicholas okay. Cage was like was somewhere else and he had to like fly there. Or, right, he had to go to San he Francisco. Got fl- yeah, yeah. And then they had to kind of bail out, or they had to get get Sean Connery out of jail and out of prison. Yeah, the man with no name. He had a name, but nobody remembered they, whatever. Let's just call him Bond. So anyway, he had a hard drive. Either that or let's call him Red October. He had a hard drive that would tell <clears throat> all the secrets of the world wars and everything and That's how many not... agents and No, everything. but also the bomb or the rocket contained enough contained like ground ammunition and eight block radius where are you going we're back so any so yeah if it was just on the ground it would be eight blocks and if it was if it was um air there would be no signs of stopping it and they had to get sean connery because he was because he was the only one because he is he escaped from alcatraz so they need him to kind of like go into alcatraz right so Take that the way SEAL team in mm-hmm. um sean connery is kind of angry well yeah because the guy <coughs> kept him longer and then then he promised to let him free oh free okay you're talking about that he, part if he did this job I'm and talking he knew I'm talking about I'm talking about um I'm talking about um after he shaved and showered there's this oh. insane car chase mm-hmm. in San Francisco which you know <laughs> a lot of cop cards get Michael Bay in San Francisco Michael Bay loves his action I would say I'll say that I'll and say, did Nicolas Cage have a Ferrari? He yeah, was driving he did. Her no, wait, wait, wait. I, I will say, I will say this: that chase scene was better shot than Die Hard Five, I guess. Did he do Die Hard Five? Heck no. He didn't direct it. Okay. He's not that bad. Maybe. Oh, so, that's right. You liked Die Hard Five. I don't even remember it. So how uh, you like missed it? interesting choice. Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> you keep messing me up where we are. So anyway, um, with a bunch so of Navy, Navy SEALs, SEALs, he gets them in there. A group of about, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because... Seven, eight, ten total? There could be 500. It doesn't matter. After a shootout, there's only about two of them left. Well, there were three of them left, but the dumb jerk went up there to try and shoot everybody that he could. And then, and then yeah. he got shot. And then it leads to the final, and then it leads to the two people, Nicholas, Nicholas Cage, and Sean Connery. <laughs> and Sean just wanted to leave. He wanted to walk away and just get I'm, out of there like he had done before. I'm getting the heck out of here. And then Nicholas. I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather do the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen than. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Please not. Oh. I didn't, I've never seen that movie. So then, um, what happens is that um, Nicholas Cage finally talks him back. Let me into let me do it. one more. I'd rather do that 1998 film, The Avengers, with Uma Thurman. Oh and wait, Ralph you Fiennes. were talking about the car chase. Yeah, and he went to meet his daughter. Yep. Yeah. A lot of cars got smashed except the Hummer. Oh, well, the Hummer owner calls him on the phone and says. You stole my Hummer. Bring it back. Don't hurt. <laughs> Although I do want to mention, she does not have an accent. The Hummer had an accent. Or the daughter did. Yeah. Okay. So I guess it was more... So that's how Nicholas. Cage... I guess it was more her side, uh, the, the wife's side, I guess. Nicholas Cage did get a motorbike and rode it to the daughter's house. And then... Um, okay, yeah. 
followed and that's when he called in the rescue team ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. so how far do we want to get into this movie well we're i already told them where they're all everybody got shot you already yeah, said that that's about that's maybe halfway ish so time. then Nicolas Cage had to convince Sean Connery to stay because he was the guns. Nicolas Cage mm -hmm. wasn't that strong with guns. And... But he did get strong. I don't know. Should we talk anymore or is that it? Well, the ending is quite kind of... It is. Comedic. It is kind of... It is kind of like... A just, is, a just ending. Well, I would say it's kind of like this, kind of like a sweet ending. Yeah. Like one of them kept their word and I don't know. Do you the think other this... one just went to... Do you think there would have been a sequel? Hmm. <coughs> I don't know what else could you do. He was only that prison and then the government prison underground. I wonder if... If... If Disney hadn't made Animal Kingdom in 98, but they still wanted to use the EMV technology, like on Indiana Jones, would they have done, would they have picked this, hmm. The Rock, for a ride at Hollywood, Studi at Hollywood Studios, or would they have picked Armageddon? Well, that one scene, remember, you thought it was like, um, like, um... Um, yeah, that. Yeah, when they were falling down. Where? Or... I thought it was more like the um, oh National Treasure, and you thought it was more like Indiana Jones. I Temple don't know if I said whatever. it was. Yeah, I thought you said it was. Uh, no, it okay. felt more like Alan Quartermain. Thank you very much. No, I don't think you said that. <laughs> it's a joke. Okay. Okay. No, it reminds me of the 40 serials that inspired Indiana Jones. 40 serials, wow. That's 1940s. A lot of no, serials. The 1940s, like, maybe like five minute films that inspired it or something. Um, got it. Anyway, I did not think it was a real bad movie. I didn't think it was a bad movie, but for a movie, I don't know, maybe for it a movie. It did have some slow spots. For a movie starring Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery. I expected, I wanted Nicolas Cage to be way more over the top and way more cartoonishly goofy. Why? He was a biochemical scientist engineer or whatever. He's a chemical super freak. Right. Yeah, but I'm talking... And ta Sean, Sean told him, too, he should lead with that and not lie. <laughs> I'm, I was talking, I was thinking more like... I mean, we did get some laughs out of like this. Like Nicholas, okay? like Nicholas Cage is known for giving like crazy, weird performances. Like, hmm. there's there's that famous scene in The Wicker Man where it's like, "Not the bees, not the bees, they're in my eyes, my eyes." Okay, I think you've done enough in my <coughs> ears. Who cares about the eyes? My ears, my ears. Basically, I was kind of thinking that... I think it's still in there. Or I had heard that um, Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage both overacted in this movie before mm -hmm. I had seen it. So maybe so that's where I got an expectations. I didn't think it was that bad. Anyway. So, anyway. Happy Die Hard Day. Have a good night. Join us, join us next time where it's, the, it's Murray time. Hmm. Bye. Bye. How do you turn this off? Oh, there. Right there. Yeah, do it.